quality depth. As a starter, what's it like having a great bench behind you? Having depth in the NBA is everything. First of all, having a great bench, you have productive practices where you continue to push each other throughout the season. But most importantly, the season, the wear and tear as a result of 82 games, having a bench can help you win games and save you uh, and only enhance your efforts and your performance throughout the season. So uh, teams that have depth have a chance for great success. Looking at the starting five for the Boston Celtics. Walker is at the one with Smart at the two. Tristan Thompson is out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Langford in at the small forward position. And of course, after spending his first eight years in Charlotte, Kimbo Walker signed with the Boston Celtics last season. Turned out to be the perfect fit for Steven's offense as well as the Celtics culture. Free throw good, Walker. Well, losing Kyrie has plenty of fans worried, but the minute Kimba signed, the air of optimism returned. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, so fortunate for this organization. Incredible job by the front office. When you lose a superstar in free agency where you get nothing in return, has crushed some franchises. But Boston didn't panic, pivoted to Walker, and it's turned out to be a match made in heaven. And both free throws good for Walker. Oh, he's never rattled at the strike. Always has that nice soft touch on his free throws. Harris on the wing. Pass to Green. Here's Shamit, defended by Smart. Here's Green. Outside for Irving. Harris outside. Clock at six. And another shot. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one misses. Good on the second one. Now here's Walker. Thompson outside. Got it. Thompson is a strong big man. He's amazing at fending off defenders. For Brooklyn, they've gone one of three from the floor. Here's Shamit. Here's Irving. And he buries his first look. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Here's Langford. There's Tatum with the three. And it's Harris with the rebound. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Outside Irving. Off target with the three. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Here's Walker. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. Oh, I like the guts of Walker. I mean, one of the smaller players in the league, but he still attacks the defense inside. Harris on the wing. Pass to Durant from outside the arc. The shot misses. So the Celtics will take it the other way. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Nets. That one was in Brooklyn. Yeah, we know that on the road, you're already a little out of your element. Then the misses from the line become contagious. And then it starts to become a mental block. Uh, you start to think, oh man, I can't. I can't miss the next one. Here's Shamit. He's coming off a 10-point game against Toronto. Pass to Durant. Just five to shoot. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. 
Lethal three-point shooter Durant is especially dangerous when he's looking to get revenge. Thompson outside. Here's Langford. Oh, he tries a three. Offensive rebound. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Kevin Durant. And you don't think Thompson is outstanding in using his body. Look at this. A muscular presence who picks up fouls well. Another season underway for the NBA. Grant, how about your memory of your first opening day? Oh, B.A., I remember it. It was fantastic. We played the Lakers, Pistons versus Lakers, in the Palace of Auburn Hills. I had 25 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 or 3 steals for good measure. What a fantastic memory. It was magical, something I'll never forget. So, guessing you won the game, right, Grant? Uh, no, we lost. You would bring that up. <laughs> and he sinks the second. Now, we, we've all seen this guy's development. Thompson has proven to be a valuable role player. He's exceptional at tracking down rebounds and a more than capable defender. Now here's Irving. Coming off a 28-point game against the Raptors in Toronto. And while he was doing that, I mean dropping buckets. He was keeping everybody else involved, too. I mean, he had a tremendous night facilitating. Boston with the ball. Following the bucket by the Nets. Tatum from long range. Rebounded by Green. The Nets with the lead. Irving, the pass to Durant. Here's Shamit. And he drives in. Can't hit that one. Nice D from Thompson. Walker against Irving. Walker's shot is off. Yeah, we're not used to seeing him get bottled up like that. Wow. Pass to Durant. Back to Irving. The kick to Durant. From deep. The rebound by Jason Tatum. It's never easy from that distance. But we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Yeah. And I have too, which is why they're okay with it. I'm sure if he gets that kind of look again, he's going to let it fly again. Now here's Tatum. 14 points for him last game against Chicago. And not only that. I mean, if you think about it, he dominated the boards. His energy was incredible. He never stopped working. Here's Durant. They lead by one. And the ball out of bounds. The Celtics will have it. The Celtics have gone three of nine, struggling so far. Outside Walker. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Here's Tatum. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Nice shot by Walker. And during his first few seasons, this wasn't a strength of Walker's. Now, he's a problem from there. Pass to Durant. Here's Shamit. For three, here's Harris. He drops it from range. Harris has got six points. Trading the lead back and forth. Neither side is willing to back down. It's a seesaw battle. Both teams are pretty evenly matched, and the score reflects that. Now, here's Walker. Seven points in the game. Thompson with a screen. Walker with it. Thompson a screen on Irving. Walker with it. Green picks him up. The kick to Tatum. Shot clock at six. Yes! Great play by Walker to set it up. Walker's got three assists in the game. Brooklyn trailing. 
Here's Shamit. Outside Durant. This one for three. Thompson pulls it in. Thompson's got his fifth rebound in this one. Steps back. Tatum from long range. The rebound by Shamit. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. The last year after the All-Star break, Tatum turned up. I mean, he was reaching a new level of confidence. He demanded the ball more often, especially toward the end of games. And he began to look like a potential top 10 player in this league. Brooklyn making some changes. Griffin comes in for Durant. And it's Brown in for Shamit. Parker, he's checked in for Boston. You know, after Tatum burst onto the scene as a rookie, a lot was expected of him in his sophomore season. But it took that extra year to really figure things out, Chris. Well, part of that is Tatum's ambition. He's not afraid to develop new skills and use them in prime time, even before they're fully baked. Yeah, and now he's way ahead of where he started, which is a scary sight for the rest of the world. That one's off. And he can't hit the second. Yeah, and it's still early, but missing free throws is something to keep an eye on. Irving finds Brown. Walker against Irving. Over Walker. Boston with a rebound. Oh, he did everything right there except hit the shot. Smart against Irving. Now here's Smart. He's covered closely. Pass to Langford. Driving inside. The putback. Thompson. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Look, I like how aggressive Thompson is inside. He's easily picking up fouls thanks to his massive size. down the first one. Both teams will make substitutions. Off on that one. So he goes one out of two at the line. And here is Irving. Thompson with the block. But Thompson is a more than capable defender. He has excellent length, and he uses that to swat away shots. Here's Brown. That one doesn't drop. Walker with some nice D. The Celtics with the lead. Pass to Parker. The three is up. Knocks it down from distance. The former number two pick in the 2014 NBA draft, Jabari Parker, is out there to score just like this. Now here's Irving. Green with a screen on Walker. Here's Irving. And a nice finish on the layup. I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easily it makes it for him to get to the cup. Here's Pritchard. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Pass to Walker. Let's it go from deep. And the Celtics another three. He's putting the hammer down. Dominant quarter for him. Trying to push out that lead. Out left to the wing. 
Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. The Celtics have gone 7 of 16 so far. Now here's Parker. Thompson outside. Pass to Pritchard. Launches a three. The shot comes out. And Brooklyn will go the other way with it. Now Irving. Griffin outside. They set the screen. Back to Irving. Fires it. Good as the jump shot falls. Irving's got six. Oh, look, what a confident shooter Irving is. He looks so calm and collective whenever he rises and fires like this. Here's Langford. Walker for three. His fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Outside Irving. Green with a screen on Parker. Here's the Wawu Cabarro. Three-pointer, no good. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the first quarter. Green against Walker. Here's Thompson. And the slam dunk by Thompson. Look, Thompson's getting after it. A highly skilled offensive rebounder who crashes with power. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. So both teams changing it up here. One twenty five left in the opening quarter. Outside Brown. Here's Irving. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Irving's got eight points. He's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. Parker outside. And Walker, here we go. That one's good for two. He's got 15. They have ridden him today, and it has paid off in a big way. Now here's Irving. Griffin outside. Shoots over Parker. Thompson pulls it in. Thompson's got nine rebounds now. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. With the seven-footer. Offensive rebound. Here's Ogilvy. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Brooklyn trailing. Irving with it. Here he goes. And there's the foul. It'll go on Kyrie Irving. That'll be a second foul of the game. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. And 
so the first quarter is in the books. Celtics out in front. They're up by eight. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. And recently, Kevin Durant discussed what they have to face night in and night out. I think we get a lot of teams' best shot in the first half, where they, you know, hitting on all cylinders, playing good brand of ball, moving fast, playing great defense. And I feel like we are at that level to start the game, and then, you know, it's about who can last at that level the longest. And it's one of the challenges of being one of the teams to beat. But that's the difference with a superstar like Durant. He can give you elite play from start to finish. Lesser guys can only do it in spurts. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And for the Celtics here, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Well, it looks like hitting the boards hard was an emphasis of their attack. They knew how valuable it was to do so. Yeah, governing the split-second chance opportunities. I mean, that's what has them in the lead right now. Harris the three with Durant at the four. And then it's Landry Shamit. Then there's DeAndre Jordan. And it's Lawawu Cabarro in at the two. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Here's Pritchard. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Well, I mean, I think he better come up with some different ways to get his points tonight. Because the three, uh -uh, not one of them. Ain't working. Shamit, no good. Boston has gone 7-for-17 seven from three-point range so far in this matchup. You know, last year, the Celtics had a lot of offensive weapons. Yet Marcus Smart scored the most points per game of his career. Well, yeah, B.A., it shows you how well the team shared the basketball. People talk about Smart's improvement from three, and they should. But he's also become much more crafty around the cup. The team even designed some plays for him now. That's how far he's come. The first one at the line is good. And Grant, you led the league in all-star voting as a rookie. Last year, Luka Doncic did it as a second-year player. How rare is it for a player like that, that early in his career, to make such an immediate impact? Without a doubt, B.A., it is incredibly rare for a player to come in and have that kind of impact, not just in terms of their production on the floor leading uh, their team, but also the popularity and really connecting and resonating with fans all over the world. Certainly Doncic has done that, and he's a remarkable player. The sky is the limit for him, and I know they're very excited in Dallas uh, about what he has in front of him. Outside Durant. Pass to Lawawu Cabarro. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. And you can't leave someone open around Durant. He keeps his eyes up, makes a play for his teammate. And here's Smart. Down low. Ooh, Durant with a steal. Here's Shamit. And here's Durant. Shoots over Tatum. Knocked loose. Boston has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Last season, Brad Stevens became the fifth coach in Celtics history to reach the 300-win milestone. He joined some legends, but he said, quote, I don't stop and think about that stuff. We've had really good players and an ownership and management that lets us fumble occasionally, too. I just appreciate where we work. Guys, Coach Stevens, always humble. All right, Allie, thanks. Now here's Durant. He's got seven. Pass to Shamit. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Again, the miss by the Celtics. 
for Brooklyn. They've gone two of four here in the second quarter. Here's Durant. He can't get that one to fall. Smart with the defensive effort. Here's Pritchard. Into the lane. Unloads from 13. That one rolls around and rims out. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, he just hit a rough patch. He's trying to climb out of it, but he hasn't been successful. The Celtics have gotten only one of four shots to go in. Here's Ojale. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Back to Smart. Five to shoot. Williams with the screen. There's Tatum with the three. Sinks it. Now two of seven on the night. An exceptionally polished score for his age. Tatum's lethal from the perimeter. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, Durant, no good. His field goal percentage has dipped this quarter. I mean, his movement has to be better. He has to find the open spots on the floor. Pass to Pritchard. Here's Shamit. And here's Harris. Williams defending. Outside Durant. Over Tatum. And again, no good by Brooklyn. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Pass to Williams. From 11 feet away, he's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Oh, nice look there from Smart. Finding the open man. Brooklyn's gone just one of four from downtown so far in the second. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. Failing to find a rhythm off. Something that needs to change and change soon. Yeah, they might be pressing a little. I mean, forcing some things. This is a good opportunity to calm everyone down. And a look now at the breakdown between threes and twos for Boston. And their offense has really been clicking. Hitting threes when they get good looks, but also taking it to the hoop when they get some open driving lanes. Here's Shamit. Pass to Durant. Looking to get it going. And Durant with the big finish. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do as a defender when Durant drives. I'm just glad I never had to deal with it. Here's Pritchard. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Here's Ojale. Out to the right wing. There's Neesmith with a three. Durant pulls it in. Pass to Luawu Cabarro. Back to Durant. And it's Kevin Durant with the foul. That's his third foul so far. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. So both teams making some changes here. Tatum against Durant. Pass to Neesmith. Fires for three. Boston again missing. For Brooklyn, they've gotten only three of nine attempts to fall in the second. Right side, Brown. Outside, Durant. Six on the shot clock. That one a little long. Boston has gone two of five from deep here in the second. Poke loose. Brown with the steal. Pass to Irving. An open look for Durant. Basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. 
Irving's got his third assist of the night. A go-to shot for KD. I mean, his catch-and-shoot jumper is butter. Now here's Walker. 15 points in the game. Green with the defensive effort. Look, they say there are no easy finishes in the NBA, but that should be easy. Pass to Irving. Green, a screen. And that's good. Kevin Durant for three. Durant's got 14. Uh, you can't fault the defensive effort there. Durant is just uh, too long, too skilled. Outside Tatum. Tells you a little something about their team. They've been able to pull in front despite his troubles tonight. Pass to Durant. He takes it in. Oh, they get a hand on it. And it's slammed in by Durant. Well, you got to enjoy watching Durant finish strong. A ferocious competitor who's always looking to jam it when he has room to. Williams with it. Back to Walker. Williams a screen on Irving. Six to shoot. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. There's Neesmith with a three. Durant pulls it in. Durant's got his fourth rebound in this one. Wow, potent offense. It's been fun to watch. <laughs> Just aggressive and effective. Taking it right to the defense. Irving, no good. The Celtics with the lead. Now Walker. He's got 15. Outside, Williams. Looking to end the drought. Doesn't go that time. And Brooklyn will go the other way with it. Green for three. Connects from downtown. Now just a one-point Boston lead. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. So the Nets making a switch here. Griffin's checked in. Well, Grant, we've seen these players take a bigger stand and have a bigger voice now in helping shape public policy. And you yourself have been a part of that. Talk about what that's meant to you and the importance of making your voice heard. Yeah, B.A., it's been so important to me. I've tried to live my adult life, my public life, exercising the power of my voice. And as I look to today's players, they have taken that and run with it. With the advent of technology and social media, players in all sports and from all over the world understand the power of their voice and are willing to use that to speak out on all types of social issues. We saw that last year with the NBA bubble in Orlando. It really speaks of how today's players have evolved into more than just an athlete. Here's Langford. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Here's Walker. Count that one. He's scoring at a nice clip. He's 6 of 9 tonight. Now, even with contact, Walker is dynamite. Finishing easily over the intense D. Pass to Irving. It's good. Irving's got 10. Oh, don't forget about this fella for a second. He is the definition of dangerous. Here's Shamit, defended by Smart, and the basket by Shamit. Well, plenty of give and take so far. The six lead changes already. Both teams came to play. Now here's Tatum. Give him eight. Here's Smart. Brown with some nice D. The Nets with the lead. Griffin outside. Pass to Shamit. And we've got 118 left in the second quarter. Irving for three. And Lankford pulls it down. Boston shooting about 35% so far in this game. Now here's Walker. Thompson, a screen on Irving. 
Here's Walker. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Oh, Walker, very crafty, earning these shooting fouls. Throw good. Walker. Not a guy you want to foul. Walker's a tremendous free throw shooter and does a great job of getting himself to the line. Harris has checked in for Brooklyn. Parker, he's checked in for Boston. He does not get the second one. He really wanted to capture the lead there, but on the bright side, at least the game is tied. Here's Irving, and there's the drive. That one is off. Smart with the defensive effort. Soft touch off the glass. Smart has got five. Just too physical, smart, shedding the defense and finishing strong. Outside Irving. Green with a screen on Walker. Irving, that's good. He's got 12. I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easily it makes it for him to get to the cup. Smart, outside. Pass to Langford. The three is up. And so it's tied as we head to halftime. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. And guys, this season, the one Brooklyn fans have been waiting for, KD and Kyrie, both on the court. What should the expectations be, Sean? I don't believe you just asked me that, Ernie. They built this team to compete for a title. The Nets should compete right away. We ain't messing around. Mm, you got to give KD some time to recover, no. Shaq. Come on, man. There's always a learning curve also between stars. You don't think so? But I see how to met Achilles. Man okay. up, Kevin. Okay. All right. <laughs> And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter is set to begin in just a few. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Boy, Kimba Walker has been sensational. He's hit shot after shot from deep. He's so locked in right now. Oh, man, what a tremendous first half. Okay, obviously he's feeling the flow, and he's looking to keep it going. Taking a look at the Celtics. Walker is at the one with Smart at the two. Jason Tatum out there with Tristan Thompson. And it's Langford in at the small forward. Harris passes to Irving. Knocked away. Walker with a steal. Pass to Smart. From downtown, rebound Brooklyn. Durant's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Shamit. Harris outside. For three. Boston with a rebound. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Thompson outside. It's Smart on the wing. Clock at six. Walker for three. And it's Harris with the rebound. The Nets shooting about 43% on this one. Here's Irving. Ooh, Thompson with the block. And so ball out of bounds. Thompson touched it last. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. 
we all know that close games can boil down to who makes a play on defense and I'll tell you what that was one heck of a rejection right there. And there's the foul. It'll go on Kemba Walker. That's his first foul. Green with a screen on Walker. Irving, the pass to Duran. Harris outside. The basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. Irving's got his fifth assist in this one. Wow, he's a confident shooter from three-point range. I mean, even with the D hovering near him. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Outside Walker. A little too aggressive on that shot. He's not the guy they want shooting these tough threes. Well, Kyrie Irving, the former top pick from that incredible basketball program at Duke University, uh, he has grown as a player since he first came into the league, and he has become much smarter with his shots. He knows when to pick his spots out there on the court. Now here's Tatum. Give him eight. That won't go either for Walker. Brooklyn's gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Irving against Smart. Outside Durant. Shot clock at five. Rebounded by the Celtics. Thompson's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass heating. And with the shot selection of Irving, the last few seasons have been his most efficient as a player. You know, B.A., it seems like Kyrie figured out what works best for him. He's matured as a player and knows how to make the most of his chances. This is him distilling the best parts of his offensive arsenal. Pass to Tatum. Three-pointer. Sinks the tray. Tatum's got 11 points. Uh, has a great feel for where defenders are on the court. Tatum navigates himself nicely. Tatum against Duran. Here's Green. And it's hammered home by Green. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Now here's Smart. He's got five. And it's Irving with a rebound. Irving's got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Shaman. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Last thing they want to be doing right now is giving away possessions. I mean, turnovers can kill you in this kind of game. Boston trailing. Here's Langford looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Tatum. Fires in the triple. Yeah, he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his Confidence. The basket looks as big as the ocean right now. I mean, that's how easy he's making it look. Now here's Irving. He's got 12. Here's Durant. Oh! oh wow. You can feel the impact. Ooh. Oh, and look out. KD is just hurting everyone's feelings with that slam. Simply amazing. Tatum passes to Smart. There's the drive. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Well, Grant, you stayed all four years in college. That's a rarity now. What were some of the pros and cons of that choice? You know, that was a great decision for me all four years in college playing at Duke. Uh, but nowadays, you're almost penalized at times for staying in school for so long. Uh, players today want to get into the league, take get right. some of the take best right. training from coaches, yes, instruction. Uh, for me, it was great. But the landscape has changed. The modern game it is younger. Players uh, are more developed, more skilled. It is sort of the environment that we're in here now in the NBA. At six foot four, 220 pounds, Marcus Smart might be the most physically imposing point guard in the league, especially with this fiery approach to the game. So 
it comes up empty at the line. Well, the length and lateral quickness of Kevin Durant, it's what makes him an impactful player on both ends of the court. And what I love about him, B.A., is that Durant can defend in the paint and on the perimeter equally as well. He also has great timing when challenging shots. And lately, he has received more credit for his defense, but you feel like he's still slipped on just a little bit. And the free throw, no good. Uh, and the winning mentality of Durant, I mean, he can take over games. He, he puts the team on his back. Nice shot by Walker. Well, he's not going to get an easier look than that. You don't need to double team him, but you can't leave him all alone. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That's foul number two for him. Here's Irving, and that one's good. And Green with the assist. Irving's got 14 points for the game. They have no answer defensively inside. Pass to Thompson. And here's Smart. It's blocked. Right side, Irving. 4-3. He buries it from three. Irving's got five points now in the quarter. And in the second half here, they're shooting a terrific percentage from three. Walker against Irving. Smart outside. Brooklyn has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Got a piece of it. There's the triple. Nails it from beyond the arc. Give him eight points now. Off the dribble. Smart showing the body control on that shot. Timeout called. The Nets. Adjustments are a part of every game. In every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Yeah, I, I like the chess match that's going on here. Each team trying to find and, and exploit the favorable matchup on the floor. Griffin. He's checked in for Brooklyn. Brown comes in for Shamit. The Celtics making a switch here. Harris passes to Irving. Here's Green. Thompson doesn't just rebound efficiently. He's strong. He's a savvy defender thanks to his long arms. Pass to Pritchard. Thompson with a screen. With the teardrop, Pritchard gets it to go. And it's all knotted up. <laughs> that's just great touch. The teardrop, well, that's all about feet. Irving with it. He's got 17. For three, here's Harris. Thompson pulls it in. And here's Walker. Pass to Thompson. For the lead! And he sinks the layup. Thompson's got his third bucket of the night. But this is where Thompson feels comfortable. Shooting very close to the rim. He's efficient. Green with a screen on Walker. Here's Irving. And again, it's the Nets missing. Boston has gone four of nine from beyond the arc since the break. Walker against Irving. Outside Walker. Down to five on the shot clock. Fires the three. They get it back. Pass to Pritchard. Takes the three. And the three-pointer goes. 
Now it's a five-point Boston lead. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Yeah, and they aren't just chucking up anything. I mean, they're doing a great job of creating quality looks. Both teams deciding to change it up. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Uh, yeah, they have to regroup and, and revisit their strategy at the defensive end. Here's Irving. Takes it inside. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Irving's got 19. I love the aggressive mentality. Irving is terrific at pouncing on any available lane to the basket. Sinks it from distance. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Out to the wing. Jordan finds Irving. Kick out to Brown. Oh, trying his luck from deep. Drops in the three. Brown's got his first three points of the game. Well, here's the thing. Irving draws so much attention from the defense. I mean, there's always a guy left wide open. To the middle. Here's Thompson. And it's Jordan with the rebound. For Brooklyn, they've gone 8 of 15 in the third quarter. Irving against Walker. Another miss by Irving. The Celtics on offense. They're on a 13 to 5 run. Here's Neesmith. Out to the right wing. Six on the shot clock. Drives to the hoop and is blocked. Now Irving. 19 points in the game. Oh, there's the alley. And slammed up by Jordan. A beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. Pass to Parker. Thompson outside. Here's Neesmith. Back to Thompson. Here's Pritchard, defended by Brown. Boston, no good that time either. Brooklyn's gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. 141 left in the third. Inside. Here's Griffin. Shoots over Parker. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. The Celtics with the lead. Pass to Neesmith. Here's Pritchard. Launches it. Gets the three ball to go. Give him eight points now. And now he's starting to do good work beyond the arc. I mean, he had a dry first half, but now they're falling. Now here's Brown. Oh, that's just terrific patience from Irving. Outstanding and filling the D inside and literally forcing their hand. First one falls. Now the learning curve for point guards in the NBA can be pretty steep, but Irving was a quick study. It didn't take him long to become an elite player. So the Nets making a switch here. Harris is checked in. Both free throws good from Irving. And 101 left in the third quarter of the game. Smart passes to Parker. Going inside. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Blake Griffin picks one up. Still possessing outstanding athleticism. Parker is good at using it to cause problems for the defense. Shooting two. And 
but he drops the first. And at this stage of Parker's career, it's about accepting whatever role is asked of him. So far, he has done an admirable job of doing this. Shamit, he's checked in for Kyrie Irving. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. Brooklyn trailing. 43 seconds left in the third quarter here. Shamit, no good. And for the Celtics, they're shooting 41% since halftime. A nice shot by Tatum. Tatum's got 16 points. Brooklyn has gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. And the basket by Shamit. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. And for Boston, they're shooting just 38% for this game so far. Here's Pritchard. Three quarters of play and a close one here. It's the Celtics up three. We'll take a quick break and then get you back to the action. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. But how about the unselfishness? Night in and night out, we see guys trying to force their own agenda. Not that time. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. Harris the three with Durant at the four. Bruce Brown is out there with Landry Shamit. And it's Green in at the five. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Shamit's gone just two of eight from the field. Here's Ogile. With the drive to the inside. Smart for three. Rebound Brooklyn. Shamit's got rebound number five here tonight. Now he hasn't chipped in with many points tonight. The good thing he has the guys around him to carry the weight. Oh! oh! Throw it down! Ooh. And that one is stuffed right there. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. Now here's Smart. And it's Harris with the rebound. Harris has got four rebounds now. Fourth quarter still young. Just over a minute play. To the right side. Back to Duran. The ball's knocked loose. Just five on the clock. Smart outside, looking to get back on track. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Final 
quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock. Driving in, Shaman. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Now here's Tatum. Smart outside. And there's a pick. Back to Tatum. Doesn't go for him. Nice D from Durant. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. That one drops. He ties it up. And that one drops. So now they lead by one. The Celtics have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Here's Ogilvy. Outside, Williams. Smart finds Williams. From behind the arc. Boston again missing. The Nets have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Here's Harris. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. And that's going to be a foul on Boston. That free throw, no good. That one misses. Boston has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Brown against Smart. The baseline, Jay. Hauled in by Brown. It isn't the D that causes that miss. That's just a, a loss of concentration. And that one's good by Durant. Oh, man, the versatility Durant offers, driving, spotting up, using his post game. I mean, he does it well. Tatum passes to Smart. Tatum with it. Can they get it? The shot, no good. Ooh, Durant with some nice D. Right now, firing on all cylinders. Yeah, there's a nice flow to this offense right now. Second chance shot. Rebounded by the Celtics. Pass to Pritchard. Now here's Smart. Defended by Brown. To the paint. Here's Williams. Rebound Brooklyn. Durant's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Here's Shamit. And here's Durant. Green with a screen on Williams. And Durant with the big finish. I mean, there's just no answer for Durant inside. It looks like you should be able to body him up, and you can forget about that. And the Nets making a change here. Irving's checked in. Parker, he's checked in for Boston. Walker comes in for Smart. 
there's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. <laughs> That'll drive your coach nuts. Four rotations. I mean, slow help and just not enough toughness on the interior. They've got a lot to talk about. Now here's Walker. Outside, Williams. Williams, a screen on Irving. Back to Williams. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. And the second free throw is good. And here are the Nets now. They're on an 11-3 run. Irving, the pass to Durant. Green, a screen. It's Durant with a drive. And the bucket is good. Durant's got seven now in this quarter. And you like the way Durant sizes up what is available in the pick and roll. Saw that he had the space and he finished it off. Now Walker. Counted from distance. Second three-pointer of the second half. Five overall. He's killing it from long range. Outside Irving. From the baseline. The rebound, Celtics. Oh, you have to love the spin move there. But he couldn't quite gather himself for the shot. Great D that time from Irving. You know what a kind of competitor he is? I know he's upset with his performance and with the score. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And they've been so much more aggressive drawing the whistle here in the second half. First free throw is good. Griffin, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Both free throws good from Irving. I like that he's playing with the edge here in the second half. I mean, he didn't get to the line once in the first half. Thompson outside. Thompson, a screen on Irving. Here's Walker. Ooh, nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. Walker's got five points in the quarter. Don't you love the passion Walker plays with? An incredible athlete who somehow muscles in tough shots. On the take. Damn it, no good. <laughs> it seemed like he changed his mind during the layup, tried to pull off another shot, <laughs> and choked. Pass to Langford. Now here's Thompson. Here's Smart. Off the left rim and out. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Brown can't hit. Boston's gotten one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. And here is Thompson. It's smart on the wing. Puts up a three. No good that time. And Brooklyn will come the other way. Now here's Irving. Pass to Shamit. Let's go with a three. Rebounded by the Celtics. Thompson's got his 20th rebound here tonight. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Now here's Thompson. 
And there's the foul. It'll go on Kyrie Irving. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Ah, fourth foul of the game for him. He's starting to get into that danger zone. Jordan's checked in for Green. And the Celtics also making a change. Tatum's checked in. Brooklyn on D. They've given up just eight points in the fourth. No good on the triple. The Nets have gotten five of 12 shot attempts to go so far in the fourth quarter. Pass to Shamit. Over Smart. Tatum pulls it in. Tatum's got seven rebounds in the game. Here's Walker. It's Smart on the wing. From deep. Hauled in by Brown. Brown's got four rebounds now. He's disappeared this quarter. He can't get anything to drop. That's not going to help him get out of the hole. Here's Griffin. Tries to snap the cold streak. Deflected. Unbelievable rejection from Smart there. Really using his insane vertical to send that one back. Tatum from long range. On target from range. Tatum's got 11 in the second half. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. This is why they go to him in these spots. I mean, they trust his judgment and ability to score down the stretch. Here's Shamit. And again, no good by Brooklyn. A rough game for him scoring the ball. Just can't seem to get it going. Here's Langford. Thompson outside. It's smart on the wing. Shot clock at six. But they recover it to take the lead. That one goes. Count it. This is the very definition of a back-and-forth contest. Yes. Neither side taking its foot off the gas. I'm expecting a spectacular finish. Here's Irving. Right through the D for the layup. Irving's got four points in the quarter. Oh, you better respect the sensational ball handling from Irving. I mean, phenomenal slashing from defense. Who poked away. Griffin with it. Picked up by Tatum. Irving with it. Pass to Shaman. Back to Irving. Six on the shot clock. Knocks down the long J. And it's a four-point Nets lead. His three-point shot does not let him down. One of the many ways Irving affects the game. Now here's Smart. He's guarded closely. Here's Thompson. It's deflected. Pass to Brown. Back to Irving. Here's Shannon. Now Irving. The three. And the Nets. Another three. Lighting up the scoreboard all night. I mean, Irving showing the versatility and his persistence. Well, the Celtics shooting about 35% so far in this game. Thompson, a screen on Irving. Pass to Smart. Now here's Thompson over Jordan. Ooh, nothing falling for them right now. 127 left in the final quarter. Outside, Brown. To the wing on the left. Here's Shamit, defended by Smart. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Man, the defender really went after him. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to go. And the Nets making a change here. Harris has checked in. off as well so he misses both 
Boston trailing. It all comes down to this possession. They must get points. Oh, yeah, a little room for error now. We'll see what they run. And the defense is looking almost lost on the perimeter. That opens up a quality three-point shot, and he delivers. And he comes through at the perfect moment. I know who they'll look to if they need another big three again soon. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Kyrie Irving. And I'll tell you what, this was one easy pick for sure. From the start, he looked in total control for the entire game. It's incredible to see a player outperforming everyone else on the court. Seconds left in the fourth. Basket's good. Uh, one of the best point guards in the league. They're getting inside and finishing. Kyrie Irving. And the Celtics call time here. They're down by six. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And here's Smart. Back to Tatum. Five on the clock. Shoots over Griffin. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Irving is doubled. Jordan with a screen on Walker. And that one's good. Irving. And Irving is a handful in the pick and roll. He has exceptional quickness, and he's a terrific decision maker. We've got 13 seconds left in the final quarter. Left side, Tatum. Oh, he buries it from outside. We see time and time again, Tatum making a difficult shot against tight defense. So we see the Nets get the win here. Boy, a hard fought game. They did a great job of holding on to the lead at the end. You get the coffee, because that's the way to close. You're going to face some obstacles in the game, but they overcame every one. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. Alongside Chris Weber, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, and the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for joining us. We'll see you later. Thank <laughs> you.